Hey guys, this is Darko. In this video, I'll share with you recommended picture settings for LG's 2021 Ultra HD TVs. In front of us is 55 inch UP7500, but these recommendations apply to other screen sizes and other models in LG's UHD line this year. The very first thing you need to check is make sure your TV is in home mode. To do that, let's first press home button on the remote to bring this home menu. Then scroll all the way until we see settings button, click OK. And now you will see on the left hand side of the screen this quick menu. And very first setting I put is this all settings button. And this will open settings menu separated in four different categories. Now to find this option to control home or store mode, you need to go to general, devices, TV, and right here you see home slash store mode. So make sure it is selected add home mode. Okay, this is the first tip. Second tip is to use the best performing picture preset by default. This TV has several picture presets and this time I'll press settings button on the remote and if I scroll down you see picture mode. Here you can toggle between different picture modes and for SDR type of content TV will come in echo mode which is far from accurate in terms of white balance and colors. So for SDR, for watching movies, live TV and TV shows, I recommend cinema or filmmaker mode or expert bright space or expert dark space. So we have four very accurate picture presets which you can use and adjust as I will show in coming minutes to suit your needs and your environment. In case of HDR content, their TV will come in standard picture mode and you should use either cinema or filmmaker mode to get, again, the most accurate colors for HDR content. For gaming, in both SDR and HDR, you should use Game Optimizer. And this Game Optimizer will come very similarly adjusted as echo or standard modes. So I recommend that you copy picture adjustments from, for example, cinema mode to game optimizer to get more accurate colors. Okay, now I'll go back to filmmaker mode. And the next tip is to adjust brightness the way you want. So how bright or dim the picture is. To do that, I'll again press this settings button and go to all settings. And first what I would recommend is that you go to support, energy saving, and here set energy saving step to off. You will have different options here. Also the one including ambient sensor somewhere on the frame of this TV that will adjust how bright or dim the picture is automatically if you select auto option. However, for the first step, I would say disable it and then manually adjust how bright or dim the picture is. So once this option is set to off, we can also go to general AI service and here you also have very similar control. Also make sure it's turned off. Once we have those controls turned off, Let's go to picture, advanced settings, brightness, and here you see first option is panel brightness. So this control you should adjust the way you want. So how bright the picture you want to be. And with this control you adjust it. So once this is set, we are okay. The next option I would recommend if you want further to increase brightness is to play with gamma control. So you have different presets here. For brighter picture go with 1.9. For dimmer environment you can go with BT.181816 or 2.4. But 
in general I also use value of 2.2. In this menu you also have contrast which is white level and screen brightness which is black level. There are specific test patterns in order for you to adjust these settings in correct way and I will put links in the description so that you can adjust it on your unit. Next section is color and here you have different options. By default they are quite well adjusted so you don't need to change anything. In case you want to increase saturation of colors you can adjust this color depth option or you can go to fine tune color upgrade with different options here so you can tweak it but in general I would say keep it turned off keep color depth at 50 and make sure color gamut is set to auto detect so TV will recognize which color space is arriving through its inputs and adjust color gamut accordingly. What is also useful but mainly if you have calibration equipment is this white balance section where this year we have color temperature for the complete range so here you can adjust how much blue or how much red there is in picture with this control. So entire range of signal is adjusted to this option. Then if you want to further tweak it you have two points for bright and dark area or even further you have 10 points or 22 points. Of course only with calibration equipment you can accurately adjust these controls. Same goes for color. If you go to color upgrade user you will have ability to tweak saturation, tint and luminance of primary and secondary colors. Next section we have is clarity and here we have sharpness at 10 this is default sharpness which I recommend but in case of lower resolution content you might want to increase it to, to use this artificial sharpening this TV offers. Same goes for super resolution. Noise reduction very effective already at low setting if you are bothered with noise in picture. However, for today's high quality digital content there is really no need to use it. MPEG noise reduction not really useful uh, but control is here if you want to play with it on some highly compressed signals. And smooth gradation to avoid banding you can also turn on this control. True motion, in this case this is a 60 Hz TV which offers only motion interpolation to get soap opera effect. So we have natural smooth movement and user selection where you can control the amount of interpolation you want to see. There is also cinematic movement which will not give you this uh, soap opera effect. Uh, it tries to make movie content smoother, however I, I could not really see big difference and in fact in some difficult scenes I was able to see artifacts, so my recommendation is if you don't want so to see soap opera effect to turn off this control. Then we have applied to all inputs, so once you do adjustments for one input you can copy adjustments to all other inputs. Reset, of course, if you are not happy with uh, the adjustments, you can reset each picture preset to default. Filmmaker mode to automatically be activated when certain metadata is detected in signal. And we have reduced blue light, so with one click you can reduce the amount of blue in picture. So this is useful for watching content in the evening or reading something on the screen. Otherwise, for normal viewing you can disable it. Finally you have very nice help section implemented in each settings menu. So all you need to do is go up to this question mark, click OK and you will see this window giving you more information about each control. You will also see some details which are relevant to other types of LG's TVs such as NanoCell or OLED, but still it's very useful and very handy. 
And guys, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it was helpful. Let me know in the comment section which tweaks have you implemented on your LG TV and which picture settings would you recommend. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!